So you want to maintain or maybe even lose weight while on your cruise while never stepping foot in the gym. That's what we're going to talk about today. My name was Ke is Kelly. I loved a vacation. I do not love to gain weight. And so we're going to talk about today. What are some of the tips and tricks you can use so that you can maintain your weight? The stairs are your friend. You need to be able to take the stairs for this to be effective, in my opinion. So when you're on a cruise ship, one of the conveniences, right, is that you're on, you're kind of resort on a boat. And so you're kind of going up and down, depending on where your room is, um, to get to the different activities that you want to do. So always take the stairs. You will be shocked by how many calories this burns without really thinking about it. So what I have learned is that the stairs are truly my friend. And this is also kind of goes with steps, right? So to, in order to maintain your weight, you're gonna have to you know, burn the amount of calories that you're eating, at least in general on average. But we also, I am not one that is going to sacrifice what I wanna eat. So I wanna make sure this is clear that, yes, we're gonna talk about this tips and tricks for this, but doing steps is also gonna be your friend. And honestly, I never go to the gym. So this is not, if you're all about wanting to lift weights during this cruise, that is awesome. Please do that. That will help too. That is not what I like to do. I like to enjoy my vacation while still being active. And so walking and taking the stairs is very important. I always find the running or walking deck, if you will, or the walking path or the walking track. I do not run. Um, I do walk it. I did do the Disney Disney 5K once. So I did run, I guess, one cruise. But I thought, mm, most of the time, I prefer to just walk. So find the deck that has the walking running track. Usually um, on Wonder of the Seas, I think it was 2.4 laps um, equaled one mile. Every cruise ship is a little bit different depending on the size of your cruise ship. But just walking that, honestly, you're outside. Yes, you have some you know, areas that you're indoors or more industrial area, but you get to see different areas of the ship. This is where we discovered there was a shuffleboard, um, kind of a secret shuffleboard area that was almost always available for my son. Um, we got to see the aft of the ship. My husband liked sitting in the aft of the ship where you get to see the wake of the ship. There's also cute little fun, motivating signs, I'll say, as you're walking it. It'll say things like, if you want that dessert, you need to do one more lap and different different fun things like that. And I just don't make that big of a deal with it. I go down, I get my coffee, I bring my coffee with me, so I'm not necessarily doing power walking, uh, but I grab my coffee and I just start walking and I enjoy the experience. If you only can get one lap in, great. You only can get one lap in. If you can get two to three laps in, great. Throughout the day though, if you think, oh, hey, we're on the fifth deck. Let's go check out the ocean on this deck. And you just walk around it. You will be shocked by how many calories you're burning. And honestly, wear a calorie counter or some sort of step counter. I wear my iWatch and I enjoy seeing how many stairs can I get because it's usually more than I would get on an average day or how many more steps can I get? And we were averaging 18 to 24,000 steps a day. So that really adds up. And so that can absolutely help counter the extra calories you're eating and drinking. So now again, when we're on a cruise, I like to indulge. But don't eat what you really don't want to eat. Now, the best thing about a cruise is there's so many things that are included, right? And there's so much delicious food. And so really make choices as to what do you really want to eat? One of the things that I do is, and our family does, is we really sometimes will order everything on the menu and we'll kind of share and we'll try different things. Because that's how, first of all, we can get our kids to try different things. Uh, but it gets you to experiment. And honestly, the portions on a cruise ship are small, or maybe they're considered regular. By American standards, they're considered small, I'll say that. And so the portions are small. So if you are indulging in something, okay, great, eat it, I do. But maybe I also do not track, so I wanna be clear on this. I am a calorie counter as well when I am at home. But when I'm on vacation, I don't wanna worry about that. I just wanna be mindful of what I'm eating. So what I would say to you is just be mindful. Eat what you want, but also maybe intermix it. Like breakfast for me, I typically really try to keep it more standard, if you will. So at home, I would have you know fruit and yogurt. 
I have um, every morning or I would have some oatmeal. So, or maybe on occasion I would have eggs. So when I'm on the cruise ship, I do a little bit of balance, right? And that's really what this is about. I will have some fruit and yogurt, but I'll have maybe sour sour um, bread, sourdough, sourdough bread toasted that I don't normally have with some butter and jam. So that is my indulgence that I don't normally have at home. But I, so I'm not necessarily depriving myself of the fresh homemade bread, but I'm not overindulging in donuts, if that makes sense. So really think about that balance. What can you have that you, maybe you don't normally eat donuts and donuts is your thing. Have the donut, but then really think about, should I complement that with some eggs and some fruit and yogurt so you're not overindulging in a meal that maybe is gonna hinder you the rest of the day. For me, that option is breakfast. Maybe look at the healthy options. There's usually, or at least any in my experience, there's always healthy options. So like, for example, on Wonder of the Seas and Harmony of the Seas, the spa had healthier options. It might ha it had fruit and it had um, smoothies and it had different things that juices that you could have. At the main dining room, there was usually also healthier options. Salmon, some sort of seafood. Maybe if you prefer seafood, opt for that versus maybe the higher fat contents on occasion. And here is a tip that I always do. I know in the beginning of my vacation, I'm much more mindful about what I'm eating because I know it's going to be a long vacation, 7, 10, 14 days. And I know as the days go on, they call it decision fatigue, meaning you kind of get that point where it's like, ah, I'm on vacation, I'm relaxing. So your decisions, my decisions at least, become a little bit more like um, not as healthy as they want to be. So really capitalize on the beginning of your vacation. So while you're still in vacation mode and you want to eat and drink, maybe be a little bit more mindful about choosing the salmon or the baked cod or the boiled shrimp without the butter on the first couple days. That way, when you get to that point towards the end of the cruise, you're like, oh, I can have the butter. You've counteracted it a little bit on average. That would also be a tip. The same goes for clothes. I know we're talking about uh, maintaining weight, but pick your tighter fitting clothes at the beginning of your vacation. That's what I do. Um, if I'm going to wear the two piece swimsuit or I'm going to wear the tighter fitting um, pants or dress, I try to dress that way in the beginning of the cruise or vacation because by the end, it's usually much more tighter and I don't feel as comfortable or as confident in it. So the same goes for food because that process, again, the decision fatigue for your food choices starts to set in. So again, while we're talking about the main dining room, Besides ordering seafood and maybe some of the healthy options, order your dressing on the side. Again, share your desserts. My daughter and I have learned we kind of share everything because neither one of us always finishes our entire entree or entire dessert. Now, it's not that I don't want to sometimes finish it, but sharing it and having that option with someone else kind of forces you to slow down, forces you to eat half. And that just kind of has its automatic portion control. And if you want more, and there are times that I do, then okay, we go get the ice cream cone and we go get whatever it is second. But it does kind of force you to take a breath um, and really think about, do you want that second piece? The alcohol. Now, alcohol will really have, in my opinion, more of an impact on your weight than food does, at least in my opinion. There's so many empty calories, empty calories in alcohol, and it doesn't actually fill you up. So you're kind of consuming more than you'd want. But that doesn't mean that you can't have alcohol. So, but really think about drinking what you want and think about those higher sugary drinks. Uh, that sometimes have 500 plus calories in them, maybe limiting those so or having water in between those. Um, really think about throughout the day, when do you want to start drinking the alcohol? Maybe it is you like your mimosa and your Bloody Mary in the morning, and you should do that. You're on vacation. In my case, what I usually do is I usually start with my coffee in the morning. I'm a big coffee drinker for those that know me. Um, I skip the juices because again, juices are high in calories. So I choose not to have juice. I choose to have my coffee. I choose to eat more of my homemade breads. I choose to have more desserts every day. And I do have dessert every day later in the day. And then I choose to have alcohol usually about mid afternoon is when I'll start. So again, instead of starting for me early in the morning and having those empty calories throughout the day, which also alcohol can 
maybe not help you be as mindful for your food choices or other choices. I found if I'm active in the morning, I'm getting my laps and I'm drinking my coffee, I'm eating the food that I wanna eat, then I have about mid-afternoon, I start my alcohol. It really does limit me throughout the day. So, and on a cruise, if you order a deluxe beverage package, you know, you can try different drinks that maybe you haven't tried before, and you should. But if you don't like the drink, I know this can be wasteful, but in my opinion, this is about maintaining weight, and this is what I do. If I don't like the drink, I I get rid of it. I Or I'll drink, even if I like the drink sometimes, maybe I just drink half of it. I had it, and then I'll have my water. I might walk around the pool. I might walk up and down the promenade deck. I might walk around the track, and then I go back, and I might grab another drink. So really think about that when you are doing that. So try to get more activity in and limit your drinks. I also, if they come ask me for a drink while I'm sitting around the pool, sometimes I'll order it. Sometimes I'll get my steps in. I get up, I walk, I go wait at the bar, and I grab a drink. Again, it really is about being mindful of the activity you're burning versus what you are eating and drinking. Get enough sleep. This is something I think that people really underestimate, in my opinion. You're on vacation. And so, yes, you're going to be up later. um, You want to sleep in. All of that is awesome, and you should. But I will say getting enough sleep does, first of all, you're going to feel more refreshed when you come back from vacation, which is what you want, right? You want to have fun, but you also want to feel refreshed. But also getting enough sleep helps you be more active. It helps you do the things that you want to do. It helps you be more mindful for your choices and be in a better mood about it as well. So getting enough sleep, in my opinion, is very underrated. Utilize the ship or the vacation activities. My goodness, there is so much to do now on these cruise ships. You don't have to just stick to walking around the deck, although I do highly recommend that. But there are things, if you are able, the climbing wall. I did the climbing wall once. I will never do it again. Um, Very, very scary. So let me know in the comments below, have you done the climbing wall and what do you think of it? First of all, I'm terrible at it, but I'm curious what you do to to do more activity. Um, Laser tag. We did the laser tag. We loved it. Again, you're kind of running around, burning activities, getting calories burnt. There is mini golf. There is... Um, you know, every cruise ship has some sort of activity, some sort of jazzercise or exercise in the pool. We even gone on vacation before where they had uh, spinning bikes in the water, in the pool water. And my daughter and I loved it. We did it every time they hauled out those spinning bikes. So yoga, whether it's by the beach or on the deck, all of those things will help you be more active. And it's just more fun to do it. And you don't even realize you're burning calories. The excursions. Really think about the excursions you're choosing. Uh, my family and I, we kind of like a blend. We like, my my son and daughter and I really like being active when we're on excursions. And we've done things like zip lining um, over the rainforest and we've climbed um, volcanoes in Hawaii. Um, so really think about the excursions that you're doing. We've also done the lay by the beach and do nothing. Um, and that's when I usually try to walk the beach. So even if you're doing a by the beach and doing nothing, go down by the water, feel the water in your feet and walk the sand. Again, if you're wearing your calorie counter or your step counter, it, it all counts and it's so much more peaceful and it's kind of my happy place when I'm doing that. Again, if you like the gym, go to the gym. But this is for those that really don't want to be stuck in a gym um, while they're on vacation. Now, nowadays, the cruise ships do have beautiful gyms and they have all the equipment that you want and you can be overlooking the ocean. So again, if that's something you really enjoy, you should do it. But you can burn just as many calories not going to the gym, and I do, um, as if you were at home going to the gym because of the activity that you plan through the day. Hopefully you found this helpful. Comment below, what do you do to help maintain your weight? Uh, Because again, I know I have been where I have gained in the past and these are the tips that help me maintain. Hopefully you found this helpful. Please give me a like and subscribe if you did and take a look at this next video.